Hey, my name is Zach and I'm a software engineer here at GripTape. Today I'm going to be talking about GripTape Cloud and showing you a powerful capability of structures and how they can be utilized for data transformations natively in the cloud. If you're not already familiar with GripTape Cloud, you can check out our documentation or watch our previous videos going over the core concepts of the cloud. Today we're going to be focusing on a few different resources within the cloud. Uh, mainly data sources, knowledge bases, structures, and rules and rule sets. So one such structure that you can deploy into your own account is the GripTape chat memory agent. This is a sample available in our open source repo, and I'm invoking it on the right here with the help from our GripTape chat uh, application. So this is another open source repository that you can play with. It's a Gradio application with client code uh, written to invoke a cloud hosted structure. So I have it configured pointing to my grip tape chat memory agent structure and I've already started a conversation with it here. So additionally, I've got a data source resource which is this grip tape cloud structure config data source. It is a web scraper type data source that is configured to scrape this uh, structure config documentation page, grip tape cloud documentation about the structure config YAML file. And I've also got a knowledge base with that single data source configured uh, so that I can give access to this knowledge base to my hosted structure. And so if I select the additional input here and select this knowledge base, then I can ask a question uh, in the chat application about uh, the contents of that data source accessible via the knowledge base. And it should be able to answer what is the main file for a grip tape cloud structure using information available from this uh, documentation page. And so it successfully answers that the main file in the grip tape cloud structure specifies the path to the entry point file of the managed structure. So that's correct based on our documentation. All right, so this is great, but if we add rules and rule sets to this hosted structure, then we can further influence the structure's behavior. And so grip tape cloud rules and rule sets, uh, the concept of those comes directly from the grip tape framework, which you can read about as well in the documentation. But essentially, uh, grip tape cloud enables you to store rules and rule sets as reusable cloud resources across different applications, uh, different structures, and that helps you direct the behavior of the AI application. And now I've already got a rule set in my account, which is the chatbot rule set and it has an alias which is a unique identifier for the rule set uh, of the same value which is the chatbot rule set and I can select that rule set here the chatbot rule set in my input however this chatbot rule set uh, doesn't actually have any rules assigned to it and in order to assign some rules uh, I'm actually going to showcase a interesting thing that you can do with structures in grip tape cloud. So this is another utility of structures. Um, so basically, if I wanted to make editing rules and rule sets really accessible, then I could create a Google Sheet document in Google Drive, and I could just define these rules in plain text. So I've got three here. One that says always format your response using bullet points. A second rule that says when asked about CryptApe Cloud, be sure to reference the knowledge base. And a third rule, a fun one that says be sure to end every response with a short haiku about how much you love CryptApe Cloud. So these are rules that I've defined in this Google Sheet document. And now if I create a new data source, and it's going to be of type Google Drive to connect to that sheet, and I will just name it the chatbot rule set data source. The description will be the same and we'll connect to Google. This is going to grant Grip Tape Cloud access to uh, Google Drive in order to sync that um, Google Sheet document. So I just need to select that item from Google Drive. We'll type in Grip Tape Rule Set and select that sheet. And now uh, the important part is to configure this advanced configuration. So here on a data source, we can enable a structure transform and then select a structure that we want to perform that transform. I'm going to select the grip tape rule set sync structure, which I have deployed into my grip tape cloud account. And now this structure is another open source sample that you can find in our samples repository. And the only argument that this uh, structure needs is an alias argument. And so this is the alias of the rule set that you want to sync to. So we want to sync to the chatbot rule set, which I showcased earlier. 
and with all of this configured I can just hit create and now this is going to kick off a new data job in my account uh, which is then going to ingest that data from the Google Sheet and invoke my transform structure so the grip tape rule set sync we can see it's running here and so the data is going to go into that structure the structure is going to perform a transformation on that data and that should result in synchronizing rules and potentially rule set resources within my grip tape cloud account to keep it in sync with that Google Sheet so we can see this structure run succeeded and now looking back at the data source that data job succeeded so now with my chatbot rule set I should now have three new rules in my account which match the rules I've defined over here we'll just double check one of these grip tape enthusiast there's my haiku perfect all right so in the chat application I've got the knowledge base selected and I've got the chatbot rule set selected which should now have rules to utilize and so if I ask another question about that documentation page let's ask it what is the pre-build install script so looking at our documentation here we can see the pre-build install script referenced uh, in the YAML file and some information down in the build section about the pre-build install script and we can see that the hosted structure was able to respond uh, as expected using bullet points, making use of our bullet point rule and talking about the pre-build install script and its usage for structures, giving some examples, and then finally, and arguably most importantly, answering with a haiku about how much it loves Grip Tape Cloud. All right, so we can see that the behavior reflects uh, what I defined in the rules. Rule sets and rules are vital to providing guardrails for LMs to achieve more consistent behavior. And having these as cloud resources enables you to iterate on and reuse rules and rule sets among multiple structures or applications. And additionally, we showcase the powerful functionality of structures in that you can use them as transformations uh, on data sources to do more interesting things with your incoming data from different sources. So please check out our documentation and open source samples to get started and reach out to us if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.